Chapter 5 The Plan to Free Jim When I heard that, I nearly fell through the floor, but it was a big piece of luck. It was easy for me to be Tom Sawyer because Tom was my best friend. He and his brother Sid lived with their aunt Polly up in St. Petersburg, and I knew all about them. Now, I learned that Aunt Polly had a sister who was Mrs. Phelps. She and her husband were Tom's Aunt Sally and Uncle Silas. And Tom was coming down south by boat to stay with them for a bit. We all sat there talking and I could answer all their questions about the Sawyer family. I was feeling really happy about this when I suddenly heard a boat on the river. Tom could be on that boat, I thought. And he is going to walk in here and call out my name before I can stop him. I've got to go and meet him. So I told the Phelpses that I would go into town to get my bags, which were at the boat station. I hurried up the road and before I was halfway to town, there was Tom Sawyer coming along. When he saw me, his mouth fell open and he looked a bit white in the face. Aren't you dead? He said. Everybody said that you were murdered. I'm not dead yet, I said. But listen, I told him about my adventures and Tom loved all that. Then I told him about the Phillipses, and that day thought I was Tom Sawyer. What shall we do? I asked him. Tom thought for a bit, and then he said, I know. You take my bags and say they're yours. I'll come to the house in about half an hour. All right. I said, but there is another thing. You know old Miss Watson's slave, Jim, who ran away? Well, he's a prisoner here, and I'm going to help him escape. Jim? Tom said, but he is... Then he stopped and thought. Right, I'll help too. I'll make a really good plan. He looked very excited. So, I went back to the house with the bags, and Tom came along half an hour later. He knocked on the door, and when his aunt Sally opened it, he said he was Sid, Tom's brother. He wanted his visit to be a surprise for his dear old aunt Sally, he said. Well... Aunt Sally was very pleased to see Tom and Sid. She thought it was wonderful. She and Uncle Silas were really nice people. When we were alone later, Tom and I talked about Jim's escape. I said I had a plan, and Tom listened to it. It's a good plan, he said when I finished. But it's too easy. It's got to be a real escape, like a real adventure in a storybook. So, we want something difficult and dangerous. Now, listen to this. So, he told me his plan. I knew it would be a good one because Tom's plans are always crazy and exciting. And we sure had a lot of fun with that plan. We knew that Jim was locked up in a hut outside the house. Every night, we go out through our bedroom window and dug a hole right under the wall of the hut. It took us a week and it was hard work. We talked to Jim secretly and told him about the plan and he was really pleased. We also wrote secret letters to everybody. Tom said that people always do this in books. We wrote that 
there was a gang of slave thieves coming up from the south. They wanted to steal Jill and get the $300 from his owner. Well, the Phelpses and their friends got very excited. And on the night of the escape, I went into the sitting room and there was a crowd of men in there, all with guns. I ran and told Tom and he said that this was really good. It's a real adventure now. All right, he said, very excited. Perhaps they'll come after us and shoot and we'll all get killed. Well, there wasn't time to think about it because it all happened so quickly.